Number one, violent bed bugs. Just thinking about bed bugs makes my skin crawl, but the way they procreate is even more brutal. A certain species of male bed bugs, yes, there are multiple types of bed bugs, but they literally stab the females in their stomachs just to help impregnate them. Apparently, when different species of bed bugs mate, it's even worse for the females. Besides getting stabbed in the stomach, the female bed bugs are found to be less fertile, which isn't a bad thing to me, and they also don't live as long. Again, I'm not really seeing the bad in that. Number two, mismatched private parts of beetles. Deep in the Japanese jungle of Honshu, there are two types of beetle species. Basically, the males of the two species have two totally different man parts. One is bigger and one is smaller. This proves to be a pretty bad situation for the females of the opposite species that try to boo up with the males that are well bigger. It gets pretty violent and can even cause fractures and worse, ruptures. Ouch. Number three, Amazon mollies. These fish take the phrase friends with benefits to the next level. Amazon mollies don't need male DNA to make babies, so there aren't any Amazon mics out there. Heh, <laughs> get it? Anyways, apparently they still need quote unquote male stuff to help their reproduction system get started. So what do they do? They mate with males of different species and use them for, well, that and drain them of all their DNA. This has been the case for hundreds of thousands of years, so apparently those male fish like being taken advantage of. Number four, hybrid toads. Living in the southwestern region of the USA means that the plain sparefoot toad has to fight for survival as tadpoles. In the dry desert where they live, Water is hard to come by, and since most of their early life is done while living in water, these tadpoles have come up with an awesome solution. So instead of the tadpoles dying off, these toads have decided to mate with the Mexican sparefoot toad, who can survive and grow at a much faster rate than the plain sparefoot. So talk about screwing for survival. Number 5. Private Stabbing Fruit Flies I don't know about you, but I can't stand fruit flies or just flies in general. Their mating patterns are just more of a reason to look at them with a raised eyebrow. The male species of this certain type of fruit fly has two privates, and the females of that same species, they have two private parts as well. Problem is, the males don't always mate with their own species, and if he manages to mate with a different species who doesn't have two private areas, the females are usually left being shanked not only once but twice in their sides. That's not even the worst part though. The males might even have problems positioning himself. So let's just say stuff gets a little sticky. Ew. Thank you for watching another episode of Crazy Crazy Cool. Comment down below the most unbelievable thing you heard from the countdown list. And if you heard something new, go ahead and smack that like button. Can we hit 10,000 likes? I think we can. If you want to be updated with new episodes, click that subscribe button also. I upload new videos every Thursday and Sunday evenings. That's all for now, and as always, stay crazy and cool, my friends.